The highlight of the week, sponsored by Dave Frannick Auto. Looking for that first car for your son or daughter? Don't panic. See Dave Frannick. We go to Wilkill Valley for this 100 war in Sussex Clash, and Wilkill Valley pitcher Keely Brown gets the strikeout here to end a 1 2 3 top of the first against North Warren. Bottom of the first, and Adriana Norland of Wilkill Valley smacks his two out single to right field to try to mount a rally for the Rangers. Then it's Brianna Peru who legs out the infield single to put runners on the corners, but North Warren pitcher Bridget Wene would get out of the jam with a comebacker, and we still have no score. On to the bottom of the second, it's Wilkill Valley pitcher Kayla Brown with the bunt, and she hustles in the first base for the base hit. And after a Grace Maselli sack bunt, watch Pauline Van Tassel come through with this RBI single to chase home Kayla Brown as Wilkill Valley takes a 1 0 lead over the ninth seeded Pats. North Moore looks to tie things up here in the top of the third, and it gets off to a good start here. Watch Bridget Wene whack this triple to dead center for the Pats with one out. And then watch Lene score here as she scoots home on the wild pitch, and we are tied at one apiece here at Wilkill Valley. Bottom of the third, and watch Andrea and Norland go the other way with this double to deep right, and the Rangers are set up. Then it's Brianna Peru with the single down the third base line to put runners on the corners, but once again the Rangers can't score and it remains 1-1. Okay, we jump to the fifth inning tied at one. After Bridget Wene walked for North Warren, watch Liz Monia connect on this RBI triple that takes a hop down the right field line, and Wene scores, and North Warren goes up 2-1. It stays 2-1 North until the top of the sixth. After Mercer Jones and Caitlin Burhoff singled for North Warren, it's Megan Stevens with a big two-run single to center field, and the Pats go up 3-1 as Jones scores. Then the Pats take a 5-1 lead here, watch Nicole Farrell drill this two-run single to left field as Berthoff and Stevens score, and North leads by four runs. We head to the top of the seventh, and with the bases full of Patriots, watch Kara Kiznasek race home on the wild pitch to make it 6-1 North more. The Pats would tack on two more runs to make it 8-1 before Monique Master Domenico comes through with his two-run single to center field as Stevens and Brittany Lee score, and it's 10-1 North Warren. And North Warren pitcher Bridget Wene seals the win here with the strikeout to help the Pats top the Rangers 10-1 as they will face top-seeded and defending tourney champ Hunter and Central in the next round on Saturday. We've had a couple of losses, and I think I feel like this brought our spirit back. So I'm excited, and hopefully we'll bring it to our next game. My players are confident once they start hitting a pitcher, they have all the confidence in the world, and as do I. Um, they can pretty much perform anything that I ask them to perform. So, you know, if I'm telling them to slap and put something down on the ground or, you know, move it between the infield and the outfield, that once they have that confidence, they're going to execute. Describe the, the pitching today. You were in trouble early, it seemed, but it seemed after your, uh, North Warren tied it up, you kind of settled down. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of pressure when you're down, and the dirt around the rubber was bothering me today, too, at the beginning, but we fixed that, and it was all good after that. Bridget pitched really well. Um, it really helps when your pitcher can get you out of jams like that, and you have the team behind you to support her. When it comes to pitching, when it comes to batting, she really is a standout player, and she, she does carry her own, so we're very proud of her. Good clutch hitting there in the sixth and the seventh innings, uh, especially in the sixth inning, the two run single, I think, by uh, Marissa Jones kind of really got things going there, really. You had the 3 1 lead, but then all of a sudden it's 5 to 1, and then you get the big seventh inning. Yes, Marissa has always been a leader in her hitting, and she is usually our fire starter. So um, she's earned her position in the fourth batting position. So um, that today's just a really great example of how she come through, comes through and, and really starts the fire underneath the team and, and gets everybody going. Um, you know, this is her last year, and we will miss her next year going forward, but we wish her all the best.